Hey, what up, people? It's gonna be hanging out with you again. Richard Ng back once more, and today we're gonna to be going back to the basics. We're gonna be checking out an, a device here from Inakin. Okay, Inakin, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the name, and it definitely brings back memories. Three years back, when I first started vaping, my first few devices were Inakin products, the SVD and also the MVP. I still got them actually, and they work great. This was also better known as the lightsaber because if you Throw in an 18650 battery and together with your atomizer, it's going to be really long and it does look like a lightsaber. And then we have the MVP, which was a classic, nice to hold and all that. And they were great devices. They worked very, very well. And I'm sure if I asked you, you know, your first few devices, if you've been vaping for about three years at least, you tell me it's an inner kid. Yep, that's what we're going to be looking at. They sent me a couple of their devices to test and also to review them. So thank you very much, George. Thank you for sending them to me. And this is really good for people who's just started vaping. I mean, if you've just come off cigarettes and you want to vape, uh, move on to a healthier lifestyle, you don't want something too complicated with temperature control and things like that, you know, that's going to confuse you. This is perfect. It comes together with an ISA clarimizer as well. It's like a, a, a kit by itself. So it, it takes the hassle of you know having to look for a device and then go look for a tank and then match them up together and things like that. This one, it comes together, you just pick it up and you're off to a good vape. So I would definitely recommend this to you know new vapors and it performs really well. It gives you 40 watts of pure power here. I'm gonna take a vape. You can sub on with this, literally. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the Cool Fire 4 by Inokin. You know, this is also very, very handy for experienced vapors who just want something very simple as long as it does the job to carry around, lightweight and all that. I love it, you know. I take it to work, run around with it, no problems at all. Just for the day's vape, this is perfect, okay? This is a variable voltage device and also a wattage device as well. Fires up to a maximum of 7.5 volts or 40 watts. And that's a lot of power. That's good for some ohming already, if you ask me. It comes with a 0.5 stock coil here and the uh, ice up clarimizer. Super lightweight. It's very light. They've got this little hole here where you can just put a lanyard and hang it on around your neck. Very convenient, you know? Fantastic build quality, if you don't believe me. No rattle. All you hear is the uh, liquid inside. If you do hear anything, hardly any rattle. Not one bit, okay? Comes with the uh, tank as a set. So, fuss free. I remember when I first started vaping, I bought the SVD. Then I had to scratch my head thinking, what else do I have to buy? You know, the atomizer, what brand do I buy? But the thing is, you don't have to, you know, crack your head and think of what you want to match it with and all that you know it comes in a set you just pick it up fast free and you're off to a good vape already so that's the um, cool fire 4 great simple features but yet does the job good power let's go ahead dive down check it out this cute little guy very nice brush finish see what it's all about come back we'll vape on it i'll talk about it some more catch you later the packaging that it comes in this is a plastic box like that and it contains the device your isa clarimizer and also an adapter with your micro USB charge uh, cable in there, markings at the side, Cool Fire 4, warning, Cool Fire 4 again, and here you have variable voltage, variable wattage, so you have an option to choose either one. And uh, you have all the product features written, scratch and check authenticity, to check on the uh, authenticity of your device, in a kin. That's about it. It comes with two tamper-proof stickers on each side. I've removed them to take out the device to test. And let's open up the box here. You have your Inokin device. Let's uh, check out on the uh, cable first. This is your micro USB charge cable, which you can attach it to your computer and charge it and also vape at the same time because um, you can do that with this device. Let's attach it to my computer. USB, just plug it into my computer right now, and you have the device right here, which is the uh, Cool Fire 4, very nice looking, which we'll just quickly come to. Just want to show you 
when you're charging it, what does it look like? You have your micro USB, just match it and plug it in and you have a display like display here and it's charging. It keeps blinking and it stops. So it's charging right now with green and put this aside. Let's take a look at the adapter. You have an adapter here for your Ego style uh, atomizers or clarimizers that you want to use. So you, all you got to do is just attach it on your device in case you have got those smaller, um, what do you call heads, where you use it with an Ego style battery, you can use this. All right, so this is the adapter and removing this, I'm going to show you the ISUP tank just very briefly. Let's put this back, take this out, close it and put it aside. This is your clarimizer which we'll have a look closer. The clarimizer with the engraving ISUP right here with the OM logo. Very nice polycarbonate tank here where you can see through and really have a good look at your juice levels. And your drip tip, white bore, very white bore. You can't remove the drip tip. All this entire section is one piece. You have Cyclops style airflow system here. Very wide airflow system. You can adjust it turning anti-clockwise to close it to its smallest and opening it up again. At the bottom you have your 510 contact pin here. Some markings at the bottom. Two arrows going each way teach you how to close and open your airflow and in there you have a 0.5 stop coil to open it to replace your coil all you got to do is just catch the bottom piece unscrew it and you have your coil just pull and the whole thing comes off this is your 0.5 ohm stop coil so you can see the ISOP logo there and at the bottom here there's some markings, uh, 0.5 ohm coil as it sh shows here, 0.5 ohm and here you have the recommended wattage to use between 20 and 35 watts airflow, contact pin, juice holes on both sides and on the top you have a little spit back gauze there to prevent spit back and your cotton Japanese cotton with a single coil there. So that's your stock coil here. And if you'd like to replace your stock coil, you can buy these uh, replaceable coils in a pack like that. That's a replaceable coil, Japanese organic cotton, no spill coil swap system, 0.2 ohm, uh, various different uh, ohm resistance that you can choose from. Mine's 0.5 and the recommended 20 to 35 watts where you won't get a dry hit and burn your cotton. Okay, so this is how it looks like at the back. It tells you to prime your coils first before you use it so you won't burn the coil. Okay, warning label to keep it away from children and pets. And I've got one that's already open. It comes like that. It looks like that. And once you tear it open, this is how your coil looks like. Exactly like the one that uh, you just saw. All right, so to actually replace it, all you've got to do is just, I'm just going to use the old one as an example. You know, take your coil, see this? All you've got to do is just push it in, all right? Make sure this little edge here sits in line with this edge, okay? Push it in. Once it goes in, okay, take this and screw it back on. Fill up your juice, hold this section of the metal, turn it anti-clockwise, and it comes off. Yeah, that's your coil that you just saw. This whole entire thing is a piece, single piece, all right? And there's a little silicon rubber band here to keep, you know, juice from leaking out. All you got to do is just get your juice bottle and just fill her up at the side here and not in here okay if you fill her up here if you see the bottom it's hollow all the way it's gonna you know drip out so at the side put in your needle or your juice bottle and just press and fill up okay the tank takes 4.5 ml of juice so i'm not going to fill up entirely i'm just going to 
uh, fill up halfway to show you once it's filled up put it back in screw it down and remember don't forget to prime your coils first before you actually fill up your juice okay so leave it for one minute and you can start to fade so this is your clarimizer and you have the device right here let's take a look at the device before we go on beautiful brushed finish okay and you've got battery vent holes on this side in case your battery needs to vent comes with built-in 2000 milliamp hours of built-in lipo battery you have an on off switch here to turn on the device and also to off the device two hex screws here to hold on this entire section here that contains in there your battery and also the chipset Enokin logo fire button up button down button micro USB charger your display screen and your 510 which is spring loaded yeah let's take it and push it and it goes up and down spring loaded and you have this channels here these are drip channels this drip well here in case you have excess juice that drips out it flows out here instead of going straight into the uh, contact pin that will spoil uh, the contact inside okay and you have these channels here airflow channels for atomizers that require bottom feed airflow feed so contact pin is made of brass nice very nice and you have this plate here that's got the engraving cool fire 4 beautiful I love the shape goes out circle that comes back very unique fits very well into the hand as well and just back doing a comparison with my MVP and this is the difference with the size okay MVP is much taller this is much shorter and slimmer as well of course in terms of thickness from the top lovely okay let's uh, take a look at the display right now to turn on the device all you have to do is click this button and press check atomizer and you have in volts 4 volts your battery indicator check atomizer again and then you have your watts right at the bottom there and your resistance at the top Let's might as well put in an atomizer, put in the iSub and try it out. Alright, so once you click, it shows you 0 0.47, 0.47 ohms, close to 0.5. Alright, and it goes off if you don't press it. So it fires, shows you the seconds that you're baking on one second two second all right and it shows you your current watt okay four volts once it blinks and then you can start bringing it down all the way and it goes round robin okay if you want to change your volts to watts all you got to do is just press the fire button and the plus button which is this one together It goes to watts once it blinks that means you can start adjusting it 30 watts all the way up to the top which is 40 watts and once you click some more it round robins to 6 watts so it finds from 6 watts to 40 watts and the minus button is to change it back to volts there you go so that's it to change it to watts plus button and goes to watts okay you just from left mode to right mode if you press these two buttons all right well, that's your puff counter at the side there and then it goes left mode to right mode okay so these are some of the basic set uh, settings that you can do um, if you look into the uh, instruction manual, oh, by the way, I forgot to show you the instruction manual. Let's bring back the box again. I'm going to put the device at the side here. 
which reminds me it's right at the bottom and they've got a very well written instruction manual cool fire 4 you should read it and learn how to do the settings and all that it's all in here which explains everything and tells you about all the safety features that's in the device like overheating when you just leave it in your car in the hot sun especially in Malaysia and it gets too hot it's not gonna fire it just shuts down until you know you get it back to the right temperature and then it'll fire again so ice up tank teaches you how to fill up the juice change the stock well like I just showed you and I think it's a little sticker here of Inokin Inokin sticker that's about it for the uh, instruction manual so back to the device again well that's about it I guess it's a very simple device but yet giving you 40 watts of power very beautiful looking feels good in the hands let's get back top side vape on it and talk about it some more so I don't close it personal yourself very cool looking device really if you ask me I have no complaints about it at all with this unique shape fits really nicely in your hand and uh, like the roundish shape here and then it slims down very nice very lightweight as well hanging around your neck on a lanyard perfect move around in the office and things like that you know it doesn't get in the way not sticking in your pocket and things like that comes with a few colors for you to choose from black silver blue what else you know um, no rattling that's really nice doesn't irritate you at all sometimes you have you know devices that rattle and it's very annoying this one no rattle perfect nice bright display screen you won't miss it easy to operate as well with the settings and all that no problem fires up to 40 watts for a small looking device you can sub ohm on that in fact you know the uh, ISAP comes with a 0.5 ohm coil which is already sub ohming I'm sure the price point is also very very affordable if you do come across it I mean you just make some comparisons I'm sure this is much more affordable than you know if you combine two separate ones together so easy fuss free I'm gonna take a vape right now see what I mean the cool fire 4 highly recommend it if you're starting to vape two thumbs up if you want to look for something simple and handy to carry around also very very good until I talk to you again thank you so much for watching vape safe vape on let the good times roll God bless bye for now